You are now live, ladies. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. If you're watching on Facebook Live, we're going to do a DBAT giveaway over the phone in a few minutes, so stay tuned. It's going to be a call-in one. Yep. 3430993. Not yet. We'll let you know when. Come on. I'm not showing it popping up. Did yours pop up? She yeah. Did it? Good morning, Emmy and Nell and Steve and Tammy and Jennifer and Bernadette. Which Jennifer? Uh, Jennifer Espinoza. Oh. Hi, Jen. Come on. I might have to restart mine. All right, I'll restart mine while we start. Ready? Yep. Welcome to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. Good morning, Dad. I see you just popped up on there. Yes, and good morning to Ace and all of our other Facebook Live viewers. If you are currently watching us, why don't you go ahead and hit that share button. That way, if you have any friends that may be uh, on Facebook, they might be able to benefit from the information we have to share today. If you are not currently following us on Facebook Live, we encourage you to do so. It's a way to get a behind the scenes of what goes on when C93, Outlaw Country, and MonsterMediaYuma.com all go to commercial break. Jennifer and I stay live the entire hour. And if you were listening, there was a little sneak uh, peek on what's to come as far as giveaways go. That's right. In three minutes and seven seconds, we are going to be <laughs> opening the contest line for a chance for you to win four Arizona Diamondback tickets to this Sunday's game versus the Nationals. This will be the Mother's Day game, mm -hmm. and these are a higher value because that's a pretty pretty cool game. $200 value for the four tickets. Wow. And they are baseline reserve. Always phenomenal seats for our winners here on Today in Yuma. But we are going to open up the contest lines in a few minutes. That number will be 343-0993. But we will do it at 5 after the hour because we have a little more business to do before then. Yes, we do. All right, we have another winner. We gave away the Saturday D-back tickets against the Nationals. We drew that winner's name this morning. I've already called him. He's pretty excited. <laughs> and... I didn't put his, oh, what, um, Steven Silva. There you go. Like, I didn't write it down, but I happened to remember. <laughs> so congratulations, Steven. He is heading to the Saturday game, and then we will be sending someone else to that Sunday game. Now, we also have a Mom's the Bomb winner. Yes, we do. I let Teresa pick the winner this morning. We're having someone different pick winners all week long. And the Mom's the Bomb contest, we have a pretty cool prize each day. One winner will receive a prize pack with $100 from Laser Gals, $25 from Buffalo Wild Wings, and $25 from Firehouse Subs. Yes, and it's not too late to enter your your mom. Um, you, we are drawing a winner every day um, through Friday. So you still have time to get your mom's a bomb entry in. On by, by 7 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, right? Yes, we want all okay. of the entries in by then. By 7 a.m. tomorrow, all you need to do is go to monstermediayuma.com and click on the contest page. And there you will see right at the top, my mom's the bomb. And all you need to do is fill out that little entry form. There's no limit to how many uh, words you can use or anything like that. Just let us know why your mom is the bomb. And again, tomorrow is the cutoff because we have, uh, we'll be giving away another one tomorrow and another one on Friday. And our d -backs winner just popped up, Steven Silva. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, we are going to read today's letter. Get your Kleenex ready. <laughs> I'm guessing I haven't, Teresa and Janice are the only ones at this point that have seen these letters. Yes. <laughs> I print them off, but I did not read them. All right. It's hard to start an intro to why I think my mom is the bomb, as if I could pick just a few things that defies her amazingness. In fact, if I had to label her best trait of why she's the best mother, in my opinion, I would have to say she's the most astonishing, benevolent woman I've ever met in my life, seeing how she didn't raise me as a child, but chose to house me, clothe me, and adopt me as a teenager when even my own family wouldn't take me in. She adopted me at 16 out of the system as I was in it for the past four or five years due to no one wanted an out-of-control teenager. 
Through all of my horrible choices and unfortunate decisions, she still managed to look past every mistake I made just to deal with my disastrous self in its entirety. Then later to come, she guided me out of the straight path I was on to help me get my life together and get the family I always wished I had. In all, I could go on all day about the wonderful things Christina O'Brien has done for me and countless other foster children, but to describe her in just a page of writing is almost impossible. But in fact, and most indefinitely, she is hardworking, giving, an amazing woman who cares for everyone before herself. That being said, I hope you can let her know this with this reward, as I know it would mean the world to her. Oh, so, I loved that This one. letter was written by James O'Brien about his mom, Christina O'Brien. Oh, I absolutely loved it. I was going through, and, and that one stuck out to me, because, you know, a lot of times we do have a lot of teenagers that don't get that. The, a lot of people that are looking to foster or adopt are looking for younger kids. And so the fact that she stepped up and took on that teenager, and, you know, it couldn't have been easy, and she still did. And, and, and fostered even more. I think she's much deserving of some little pampering herself. <laughs> and I do know a lot of people in the community. That's why I am not selecting these letters. <laughs> I have known Christina, James' mom, since she was 17. Wow. I moved here in 1993, and her mom was my business manager back then. I worked oh. with her mom for 12 years, so I saw Christina go through her own um, challenging teen years. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she has just turned into such a remarkable young woman, and she is an amazing mom. All she ever wanted to do was be a mom, Aww. too. And she's one of those that is absolutely cut out to do so. Well, that's fantastic. All I, right. I think it's she's most deserving. Well, get your letters in if your mom is the bomb. Again, it can be your grandma, your sister. If you have a neighbor or a best friend that's an amazing mother and role model, go ahead and send a letter in. No word limit if you just want to use the five simple words to describe her. That's all we that's need. That's all we need. <laughs> Send it on in. Just go again to monstermediayuma.com. Click on the contest page mm -hmm. and fill out that entry form by 7 a.m. Thursday. All the week's entries do need to be in by then. And they're rolling over from day to day. You don't yeah. have to submit the same letter again. We are keeping them in a pile. And we have someone different pick a winner for us each day. Sounds good. All right. Now we are going to open up the contest lines right now. Is Foodie Delicious in there? She is. All right. We are going to take caller number 20 in celebration of the d backs 20 anniversary this year That's for right. you to win a four pack of tickets to this Sunday's game D-backs versus the Nationals a $200 value caller 20 right now at 343-0993 for complete rules where do they go all you need to do is go to monstermediayuma.com click on the contest page and scroll down just a little bit and it's on the bottom of the page all right today we have, we have a few birthdays too because we, we have a biz because we have a busy show <laughs> yes <laughs> sorry cuz <laughs> All right, we have Sarah Wilson from the Yuma County Library District coming in. We're going to be talking about all things mom. Yes, we are. Then we also have Adriana Del Rio from Sunset Community Health Center stopping by. And we will round out the hour with Aqua Squad. They are the amazing girls STEAM Robotics team of 5th and 6th graders who've qualified in the top 20 among five other countries, mm -hmm. not just states, to compete in the Global Innovation Competition in San Jose this June. So those young ladies will be coming in the studio today. Awesome. I'm excited to see their project. A couple birthdays, too, on our Firehouse Subs birthday shout-out list. Do you have any on your list today? I don't have any personally on my list today. No, not till tomorrow. Well, one of them came in via messenger this morning, and we want to remind you that our birthday shout-outs are brought to you by Firehouse Subs, and the Firehouse Public Safety Foundation saves lives through donation grants. And nationally, they have given over $31 million to first responders, and that even trickles down to our local community here. It sure does. A very happy ninth birthday to Carter this morning. His mom sent Aww. that message in. Carter Gleim turning nine years old, and Scott Snyder celebrating a birthday today. We don't know how many years, but we hope they've all been amazing. Yes. Sherry Akers is celebrating today. That's a longtime friend of mine. And this last one, John Underhill, is 89 years young today. <laughs> wow, wow, that is fantastic. You got one nine and a whole nother 80 years in between. <laughs> We're going from both ends here. But if you have a birthday shout out you'd like to give, all you need to do is go to monstermediayuma.com. Click on the Today in Yuma tab there. You will find the Firehouse sub logo, a little celebrate banner, and the little entry form. All you need to do is fill it out. Please give us 24 hours notice. That way we can make sure to get it in on time. And then all of the week. Uh, birthdays will be put into a drawing and every Monday we draw that previous week um, winner and they get a free medium sub drink 
dessert and a bag of chips That's from right. Firehouse Subs. Again, if you'd like to see our complete contest rules, you can go to monstermediayuma.com. You usually have to be 18 for the contest or 21 unless we specify, specify otherwise. Yeah. And you can only win once every 30 days. You cannot be an employee of Monster Media. That's right. All right, why don't we go ahead and take a quick early break here okay. on the show because we do have several guests we are going to get in today. And Anita, do you have a winner for our WTF Bare Naked? We'll go ahead and take a break a few minutes early. Come back, Anita. We'll share our winner this week for the Bare Naked Soap Co. gift card. And then Sarah Wisdom from the library will be joining us. It's Today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have 30 years of experience and knowledge, and you can trust them with your business payroll and monthly bookkeeping needs. Call 343-1040. And Sprank Sports. Visit their partner location, Truckmates. You must home for snug top shelves and lids, Linex spray and bed liners, 3M window tinting, and BDS suspensions. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And Quick Refrigeration wants you to know that if your air system has to work harder due to a clogged filter, it may lead to premature wearing down of different components. Make sure you change out your air filters on a regular basis. Visit GetColdQuick.com. And Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialists, they are Yuma's best. And right now is the time to take advantage of the Pest Control Summer Special. One low price, price of $89, and that includes exterior service for June, July, August. And you can add in May for just an extra $10. It will take care of all of those common household uh, pests, such as ants, crickets, cockroaches, silver silverfish, spiders, scorpions, and earwigs. All a uh, full-on service, all for for three months for only $89. Go to their Facebook page for details or give them a call at 928-343-9149. It's Today in Yuma. We'll be back after the break. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Did I? Okay. Mom stuff, huh? Mom. All, all things mom. But they, they are huge Diamondback fans, so right, I know they will. It's Pamela Trusty. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure. I know them very well. I know, so I'm like, oh, I know that name. <laughs> Who won today? Who won what today, James? <laughs> it's James O'Brien. Is he? Oh, it hasn't he, popped up yet. Yeah, he's on. Get your mom, Dad. Yes, Christina was a winner, James. Aww. So you'll need to swing by weekdays between 7 and 4 at 949 South Avenue B. I think you know how to find the station and pick it up. 7 is lucky, Skylar. But that wasn't the today. right number today. <laughs> Their 20th anniversary is this year, and they are on fire. 7, 17, and 27. Those are the best numbers. <laughs> Jacob come in today? He should be. Okay. So I'll have him, now that we have this new one today, I have last week's two, I'll have him transcribe those. Okay. So we're ahead of the game. And I Imagine that. Not to load. Perfect. The West Woods? Mm -hmm. I mean, anything applies. Yeah. Perfect. How, did you, how was a... Uh, library con? Library con. It was great. My the son photo. was there. Oh my gosh. Was he? he was. Eli went. And he had a very, very good time. Oh, good. <laughs> did he dress up? No, it's, he didn't. He had friends that did. Oh, and I think he supported I was, I was liking photos on Facebook and then Instagram. I yes. was seeing them everywhere. On, you, on the library pages. Really? Mm -hmm. They were sharing a bunch from, mm -hmm. from the event. Yeah. I thought it was fun. That's what I was I doing when, when we were at the career fair. Oh. I have to go. I guess I thought I had them liked, but I, maybe I don't. You'll have to go back on and check. I'm going to go check now. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a final number yet, but I I think the guesstimate is around 700. <gasps> wow. That's good. Yeah. Is it so the biggest yet? Um, no, the first year was the biggest. I think we had over a thousand people. Oh my goodness! Um, so not not the biggest. There, there was a lot going on this weekend too. Yes. Yeah, with the events downtown. Yeah. And some last school performances. They're starting to wrap mm -hmm. those up for the year. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It was it was fun. Twenty five good times. All right. We'll have Anita just scoot on over. You can borrow. Sarah, you can slide that, that other mic over to you. Okay. Just, she needs to, we need her to announce her winner. Sure. I can 
can grab that. Okay. You ready? Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Welcome back to Today and You, I'm Jennifer. I'm Teresa. And I'm Anita, your WTF gal. And I'm Sarah. <laughs> we have all of our mics on today. I'm excited. <laughs> Anita is popping in a little early for her WTF Bare Naked So Co winner because we have three other guests already and we need to just get hustling along here. <laughs> but you are going to announce this week's winner am, from the website. I am. This week's winner is Jessica Tamp. Oh, congratulations. Thanks for being a listener. And what did Jessica win? Jessica won a $20 gift certificate gift certificate from Bare Naked Soap Co. in their new store at 255 downtown Yuma, Main Street, downtown Yuma. We did our field trip last week and we it did. was amazing. It was. It's kind of funny. We bumped into another winner there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We did. So yeah, definitely. If you are interested in entering Anita's WTF contest for Bare Naked Soap Co., all you need to do is go to her awesome WTF page, soak in some of that positivity <laughs> she has on there, and you will see the entry form for the $20 gift certificate to Bare Naked Soap Co. She draws that winner every Wednesday morning. And we have our Diamondback winner, too. We do. The winner for this Sunday's Mother's Day game is Pamela Trusty. Yay! Go Pam! She's going to get an awesome gift there, too. She is. Well, we have, we're just stacking up all of our winners. That's <laughs> okay. Today. I like that. I like being your contest station. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Anita. My pleasure. All right. Make sure you get entered for next week and also enter to win the gift certificate from 251 Downtown on the Food Delicious page. That's right. You you really liked um, the tasting that she brought I did. Yesterday. I liked the rubber ruckus rolls that Danielle brought and Robert had created those uh -huh. and they were real I think there there was one left when I left but I, I gave Jacob the clue that there was food in the fridge did you go check I think I, I, I think it's still I did not bed. see I told him I go I even liked it and you might I even get it, your lunch yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no they, they were really good so much so that I went home and used one of my spinach wraps to I didn't try and recreate that I just made me something weird for dinner Hey, it works. <laughs> it, it was good. <laughs> all right, Sarah, we are going to be talking mom, mom, mom. Yes, all things mom happening at the different libraries this week. Uh, coming up today at 2 p.m. at our Summerton Library, they are hosting their annual Mother's Appreciation Day. Aww. So this is just a little bit before Mother's Day, but what they do is invite all, you know, the moms, the grandmas, the aunts, friends, everybody can come and just relax, enjoy some light refreshments, and what they do is invite different organizations in the community to come and uh, host a little table and talk about the different resources that they offer for families. So if you're looking for uh, child care or maybe you, you know, need help with uh, food assistance or, you know, anything, they, they just invite the different community organizations to come in and have information about the services that they provide that would be beneficial to families. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really a popular event. This is, gosh, I want to say the maybe the fifth year that they've done it. I was, I was just down there yesterday, as a matter of fact, and they had big posters on the outside of the library and flyers all over. Oh. So they just are really hoping for a good turnout. Again, that's today at 2 p.m. at the Summerton Library. And then tomorrow, they invite children of all ages to come at 4 o'clock and decorate flower pots to give oh. as Mother's Day gifts. So they'll have all the supplies and the art supplies. Um, but kids just have to come and be creative and decorate a flower pot for mom. And, and as always, there's no charge to attend. As always, <laughs> no charge. Just lots of fun. Again, that's at the Somerton Library, and the Somerton Library is located at 240 Canal Street in Somerton. For more information, they can give a call to 928-627-2149. That's right. And there's also a Mother's Day tea taking place. Yes, that is happening tomorrow at the main library from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Again, it's children of all ages, and they're welcome to bring moms, grandmas, Aww. aunts, sisters, anybody who's... Your, your, your favorite gal in your life, you can bring them to a nice Mother's Day tea at the main library. There'll be crafts and music and some light refreshments. So again, just a pre-Mother's Day party to celebrate your 
your favorite lady in your life. And again, that's at the main library from 4.30 to 6 tomorrow and also no charge to attend. Now space is limited, so you might want to get there early. Yes, absolutely. All right, and Mother's Day crafts, because I know it's that time of year. A, a lot of little hands are busily working. Yes. <laughs> to making, create. making those keepsakes that moms hide and tuck away in boxes for years to come. Um, the Foothills Library is hosting a Mother's Day craft on Saturday at 1 p.m. They'll have all the uh, arts and crafts materials for the kids to make Mother's Day cards. Again, there's no charge to attend. You can just show up about 1 o'clock at the Foothills Library and create something special that uh, mom will most likely save for years to come and may or may not pull out at your high school graduation and say, <laughs> remember when you made me this card? And they're going to look, okay, mom, you can put that away yeah, now. Yes, so as you look at your little handwriting that goes to the side and you used, you know, the, all the tape in the dispenser. To <laughs> well, the, I love the it because, you know, with Eli, you know, still being, you know, he's only in second grade and, and he, so they make, usually make crafts and things for Christmas and yeah. for mom, for Mother's Day and dad for Father's Day. But he is so proud of himself when he's able to give you that little gift yes. that he put the, all that hard work in. Maybe not when he um, is graduating high school. It's going to look <laughs> yeah. kind of weird. But, uh, you know, what? I, I put, those are ones I put away. I used to save everything. Um, I, I learned real quick that that's not going to happen. <laughs> it builds up. But it does. So those little special things that he makes are the ones yes, that I keep. Yes, we save the special Mother's Day things yes. and the, the various Christmas projects, but I didn't need to keep every single spelling test. And, oh and, and, you know, I, 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 I learned very quickly <laughs> that you don't need to keep all those things. I, I like to, uh, and I, I still have kept things for a number of years, from the different grades. I love how the handwriting has evolved. Yes. And it evolved, seemed to, to backtrack a little bit. Right, once we got into texting and <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it, he had such nice writing when he was eight or nine. He's left-handed, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, and now, of course, it's that scritchy scratch, I'm just doing it to get by kind of thing. Yeah. Because we do so much on the computer or the phone. It's true. Well, I love when they when they, when you get those gifts and, and they're in kindergarten and they're trying to write words. And mm -hmm. it, it, sometimes you have to translate for, like, when he makes things for my mom and things. But it, those are the cutest things to me because, yeah. you know, they, they're they written just as it sounds most yes. of the time because they're not used they're not into the, really into spelling or anything like that yet so I, I definitely enjoy those pieces and my mom would keep creations that we had made we she had a, a book for each of us a scrapbook oh. and that's probably where I you know developed my, my affinity for that yeah and she would keep you know she had four kids too so you quickly learn at that point that you cannot <sighs> can say <laughs> everything and, and still have room to live in it can become, right be, become challenging but, you know, so I like going back and see the things that I created, too. But all of the ornaments for Christmas still go on my tree every year. I like those. Some, Some may be towards the back a little bit. If they <laughs> faded, they have the handprint they made a Santa hat out of right. with cotton balls and <laughs> construction paper. It's not made to last the test of time. Right. Really. Good. But I, I love the crafts that the library is doing. And we want to encourage you to check out all their programs. That's right. Library Con, big hit. Yes, it was. I was just telling you on the break, we, um, we don't have an official number of attendees yet, but the guesstimate is around 700. Wow. So it was quite a day at the main library. Um, there's lots of pictures on Facebook and Instagram if you want to go on and, and check out. A couple of people actually even made videos, oh, cool. video compilations of the day. Um, so we we're really happy that everybody seemed to enjoy it so much. Well, and it's getting to that time of year. School's almost out. That's right. Which means? Which means the summer, summer reading. reading. <laughs> <laughs> that we actually start planning in November, believe it or oh not. Oh, my goodness. It takes a lot of prep to get summer reading ready. So just to put that out there, our youth services department and uh, other other staff have been working on this for a long time. Well, kudos to them. <laughs> yes. So we will be rolling that out on June 2nd. There's already information on the website, umalibrary.org, and we will have a reading program for all ages again. So adults, teens, kids, early literacy, we want to encourage everybody to read this summer. And we're up for more field trips. All we, right. Yes. We enjoyed the space last year and the reptile, the, yeah. the snake dude. It was interesting. Yeah, still, snake dude. I still don't want to touch touch a snake. I did uh, pet a bearded dragon this weekend. Oh, good his, for you. His name was Morty. He was pretty cool. Awesome. And you mentioned cockroaches when you were talking about the advocate, advocate, advocate pest earlier. The the little boy. It was um, his family's bearded dragon, and he he says he eats rock roaches. 
Oh, <laughs> well, that cute. is a good so beard. Cute. Exactly, <laughs> Jen goes. That's my kind of. That's my favorite kind of lizard. Yes, right yes, I can get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you'd like to check out the summer reading information that's already out there, or just find more information about any of the library branches or the programs, just go to yumalibrary.org. Plenty to keep you in reading material or they have so many other things with the e um, e options it, there's mm -hmm. video games there's music there's movies it's not just about the books anymore that's right but i did bring a giant bag of books for you to take back no problem I at least you put them in a bag i did not read them. <laughs> yeah. you didn't come to a stack of 20 anime books <laughs> no problem <laughs> all right it's today in yuma on z93 outlaw country monster media yuma.com thank you so much sarah was there for wisdom wednesday thank you we'll be back after the break with sunset community health center the show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have 30 years of experience. We love that all of our sponsors yeah. have been long-time Yuma businesses. And you can trust Classic Accounting with your business's payroll and monthly bookkeeping needs. Just give them a call at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, check out the Sprague's difference. Buy, sell, trade, or consign firearms with free expert appraisals. Sprague's offers local price matching and a lifetime warranty. You can find them at Sprague's.com or on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And from repairs and maintenance to premium system installations, Quick Refrigeration brings you indoor comfort expertise that keeps you comfortable and productive no matter the weather. Visit GetColdQuick.com. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialists, they have been providing pest control services in the Yuma area for over 20 years. May is Law Enforcement Appreciation Month, and they're celebrating by offering everyone the Blue Special. Get two months of service for the price of one, and next month, or excuse me, next week, Law Enforcement uh, Officers Only Specials coming uh, May 14th through the 18th. So go to their Facebook page for details. We'll be back with Adriana Del Rio after the break on Today in Yuma. What did Janice's text say? Oh, swimmers are here, but no sunset yet. Okay. Maybe we can swap them out if they're coming from right down the road. Okay. And we'll come back. We'll tell them we took our Lotus Day Spa one. And is, you keep, you're saying steam, is, isn't it STEM? It's, it's both ways. Oh, okay. Because I was some, like, I know Eli has a STEM program. Some include agriculture. Oh, okay. So. Most in Yuma have agriculture in them. STEAM. Mm -hmm. A lot of Yuma will have a STEAM program. Thank you. I think we're going to go ahead and bring you ladies in. All right, why don't you guys come on in? Will we need more chairs? Uh, some of them are going to have to stand. <laughs> The, the three that are going to talk, I would I would say sit, sit, and then the rest will stand behind them. Good morning. You're on Facebook Live, just so you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ones that are going to talk, go ahead and have a seat. Hi. Good morning. Oh, you guys make cookies? Talk. Thank you. Oh, Aww, Josh, oh, you talk? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You can do it. <laughs> Don't be afraid, I promise. We won't, it's, we're not trying to stump you. Okay. It's just a conversation. It is. It, it is. is. It is. And you I'll can be, scoot that chair that way, baby. I'll be, and I'll be right here with you the whole time, okay? Uh, you can probably squeeze another chair in there. Do you want to try? Yeah. Okay, hey, Tatiana, if you want to tape it for Miss Canals, you can. Okay, that's your job. Okay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> you really want this? We have... 50 seconds, Jen. Skylar says, I want a cookie. <laughs> they brought cookies for us, Oh, my Jen. goodness. Here, watch they make, uh, these look like homemade cookies. cookies. They do. They All look right, yummy. So we can squeeze. Yeah, probably a couple of you on there. Okay. Yeah. Share a chair. Okay. Mia, you can share a chair. Okay. <laughs> 30 seconds, Jen. <gasps> Tatiana's going to record. Okay. Tatiana's going to record. She's fine. I'm probably going to put it back this afternoon when I'm in here. No, that's fine. It's Go ahead and grab the microphones right here and from the top right here and pull them right onto you. Okay. 
Great. And then when whoever's going to talk, you want to move it in front of whoever's going to speak. Okay? There we go. <laughs> if you're not, if you're not going to talk, then you got to pass it over. Okay. <laughs> don't be fine. shy at all. We're don't fun. Be Just shy. be yourself. You're all good. What's that? <laughs> yeah. The, the we're going back to the actual show. All right, you ready? You can you can hold it if you want to come, come over this on the way. other you side. Can move, yeah. You can move around. It's yeah, you okay. Do Don't you worry. Need to. You do whatever you got to do. <laughs> I do. I move then all over. Use one of our mics <laughs> exactly. All right, you ready? Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are here live with a studio full of some very bright young ladies today. Yes, we are. It's a sea of blue. It, it is a sea <laughs> of blue. We have the Super Aqua Squad here from Valley Horizon Elementary School. Thank you all for coming in. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> now, there are six of you in here. Yes. yes. All right, go ahead and tell us your names. I'm Yukidia Hen. I'm Jocelyn Ortiz. I'm Mia Tidenser. I'm Bianca Smith. I'm Flora Valenzuela. <coughs> yeah, I'm Tatiana Williams. And Tatiana, don't be afraid. Jennifer's sharing <laughs> her mic. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, you can come on over here. Well, we have been talking about these amazing young ladies in our community because they are going global. And all right, who is going to who wants to start off by speaking and telling us about Super Aqua Squad? <laughs> I love it. They all point towards her. <laughs> Go ahead. Give us, kind of, let us know what you guys, what you guys do. Um, well, we made the Aqua Box, and we started this in summer school, and we are still continuing progressing with the Aqua Box. What is it? Okay. What is Aqua Box? And what what is the Aqua Box? We have one here today, mm -hmm. but explain the the premise behind this for us. So we started the idea because we met a pilot during summer school who had a problem of transporting water. So he just regularly just threw them out because he couldn't land. So we decided to make up a solution so he can do it better and not waste water. So we started using multiple boxes. We kind of started out with cardboard, but those weren't very strong. So we then found styrofoam boxes and we tested them out and they were good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this because the water creates additional weight for the aircraft? Or what's what's Tell was the reasoning behind that? <clears throat> do you remember? You can do. Go ahead. Time. Just go ahead and talk. If you know the answer, just answer. It's okay. Um, should I just say the story? Yeah. Tell the yeah, story. Yeah. Tell us the story. Tell the story. story. <laughs> okay. So the the law enforcement pilot um, said that he once was out in the desert and he saw a father and his two kids um, were stranded on a mountain. And he tried to drop as many waters as he can, but only a few survived. So we thought um, that we really wanted to help them, and it, it was a very like um, we didn't bad know. problem, and we didn't want that to happen to anybody else. So we came up with the Aqua Box so we could save lives. Okay. That is oh, very so cool. awesome. That is very just a great idea. All right. Well, we are trying to help raise money to get you young ladies to the global competition in San Jose in June. And yeah. I know there, there's a GoFundMe page that has been set up, and so far we're almost seventeen hundred dollars to that goal but we're looking at covering it there's travel expenses mm -hmm. hotel we have to feed you <laughs> <laughs> and you are representing Yuma on a scale and I don't know that it's ever been done on this scale this isn't just a statewide or national competition it's global mm -hmm. so so for the super aqua squad to have made it this far to represent Yuma I certainly hope that we as a community can help these young ladies raise money to get them to San Jose. And now, when you go to this competition, do you guys have to present what you guys, you guys will be presenting what you guys have made, and, and then they'll be doing like a judging type of thing? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So they'll be spending 
it's three okay. days um, there, and so they'll be in classes learning about marketing, businessing, how oh. to push their innovation forward, how to um, use their patent, and what to do with the patent um, once we have ours all done. Um, they're also going to be presenting to judges, and so they're competing for a twenty thousand dollar prize. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, and so the prize money would be used to further their innovation so that they can help change the world. So. Um, the Aqua Box, like Red Cross knows about it. They're really excited wow. about it. Civil Air Patrol loved it. They've given us lots of great feedback. And so um, they see a big need for it and being able to help people who are stranded wherever they may be until um, land people, search and rescue can get to them. Because every moment counts when it comes to dehydration, um, you know, it, heat stroke, heat, heat exhaustion. And so having the Aqua <coughs> Box is really important to a lot of these pilots who go out w at the last minute, you know, they're getting told, hey, we need you to find people who are lost in the desert. Um, Red Cross wants to use it to also help people, like the firefighters, like in the California fires, wow. to help drop water to those people or even flood victims. So we've tested it and it even floats in the water. So we've talked about using it in other natural disasters as well. So we really, um, we want to get to that competition so that we can further this and really help make a difference in the world. Well, especially in our region too, because we do have individuals who may be stranded out in the desert. And we know that during the very, very trying summer months here, you know, it means the difference between life and death and hydration is so very important. I, I love that you ladies picked up on this particular project to pursue for the for the innovative competition this year. Well, and I love the encouragement too because, you know, these girls created something and the fact that you're actually going forth and, you know, trying to get a patent to get, you know, so that they can, can reap the benefits of what they've created. So I think right. that's awesome. And they have worked so hard. So um, a lot of people don't know, but I mean, we started in August and here it is, we're in May and we're still working on this project and they work in the mornings, they come in before school an hour usually, a lot of times they stay after school for a couple hours. So these girls have worked really, really hard and they, um, you know, out of 20 other countries, they're one of those top 20 that's there. So not only are they representing Arizona, but they're also representing the U.S. So yeah. that's pretty amazing. And so um, we even talked to, like, the director of First Lego League in Arizona, and they don't know of any other team from Arizona who's ever gone to the Global Innovation. You guys are kind so. of rock stars. Yeah, they are. They are rock stars. <laughs> Well, they're getting a lot of shout outs on Facebook Live. Mighty Soul says, so proud of these girls. Angela says, good job, gals. So pr and uh, Gerilyn says, so proud of them. So you know what? Good job, guys. And, and definitely good luck when you guys move on. And I know you guys will be able to reach your goal. Now, do you guys have a fundraiser or something coming up where they can help, where the community can come out? Lots of fundraisers coming up. <laughs> okay, you want to tell them some of the fundraisers? Here, go ahead. Let's put that mic back in. Yeah, slide, I'll it, slide it back in for you. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. So we have a car wash fundraiser this Saturday, and we have a brewer's fundraiser May 22nd, and a Chipotle one May 15th, and May 24th is Chuck E. Cheese. Uh -huh. Where is the car wash going to be this weekend? Tractor, tractor Supply. Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply. Wait, off tractor of, supply. Off of 32nd Street. Okay. Okay, and it perfect. starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock on Saturday? On Saturday yes. morning. Yep. I need my car washed back. Yeah. yeah. It's a great <laughs> time to take mom's car and get it all washed up for Mother's Ooh. Day. Hey, there you go. So I like the way yeah. she thinks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so bring your mom's car by, and we got some awesome girls who will wash it and get it all ready for you. And, um, you know, any donation counts or $5, we'll do whatever. Mm -hmm. We're just um, asking for our community to help us a little bit well, along do, the way. Do you have, is there a Facebook page for Super Aqua Squad? We where do. Where people can find all this information? Yeah, so it's all on our it's all on our Facebook page, Valley Horizon, First Lego League. Um, we're also on Twitter, so it's hashtag Super Aqua Squad um, and hashtag Operation uh, Water Drop Yuma. So, um, but probably the Facebook page is probably the best. It's Valley Horizon First Lego League. We have all our information out on there, um, and it will also be on the Valley Horizon webpage as well. Well, for we'll, school. we'll make sure to share those links on all of our platforms there. That way, everybody can find the information on all of your guys' fundraisers coming up. So, you must stand behind these girls. Let's get those girls to uh, their competition next month. Next month, so Next we month. leave June um, eight, uh, eight, 17th. Yes, we leave June 17th, and 
so yeah, we have a short amount of time to raise a lot of money. We do have um, a pitch funder with ASU, so if you want to donate through ASU, um, they can help you with that, or um, we have our GoFundMe account as well, and it's all on our Facebook page. So Is awesome. this one possible to do through the school tax credit? Yes, you can do it through oh. as a school tax credit, and just make sure you write in the other line for Super Aqua Squad, and um, Crane School District is aware of it, and so they will make sure the money gets to their account oh, that's that they've set up for them. And there's matching from the state if you get stuck on taxes. So <laughs> it's, it's a great way to get there to some go. kids who worked really hard. So. Well, we are so proud of you young ladies I mean you just go forward and continue to make us proud and if uh, we're really hoping you win that $20,000 yes I, I like that the, the campaign too involves the marketing and other educational things that go behind it too it's not just creating something and then leaving it there because you you know understanding the business aspect of it and the patenting is so very important a lot of people just aren't aware of that so i bet it's been quite a process for all of you even learning different things along the way right yes yeah <laughs> right well we will have you back here after you win at global in june all right uh, all right that was great. That was awesome. <laughs> well good luck girls and, and and yuma let's get this yuma community behind these girls and get them where they need to go next month that's right we have super aqua squad from valley horizons who stopped by today to talk about their innovative creation here and the fact that they are headed to global let's get that money raised for these young ladies they continue to make yuma proud is everyone ready to do our lotus day spa and salon selfie in the courtyard Ooh, yeah. It's probably yeah. our biggest yeah. All right. We're going to make it happen. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with Today in Yuma. After this coming up, Adriana Del Rio from Sunset Community Health Center will be here in the studio. We'll be back on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live Feed. Yay. All right. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Yes. 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 I'm Jennifer. I'm Jennifer. That's Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> oh, my Neighborhood cats and chickens and pigeons. Oh, we saw a chicken. Earlier. Okay, we, we saw a yeah, chicken. We got several chickens over here. Okay, good. And a station cat. Right. Yes. Jen, scoot back a little bit so that way I can stand ahead and watch out. Watch out. Get in there with them. <laughs> Part of this. The right. girls with the boxes come to the front. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Okay, I'll keep showing up on here. No? If I go, um, That's weird. if I don't click on the video, yeah, if you if you hit the live, you won't see the comment. It's weird. Good morning. It's today. Normally I do, but good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Is that a dress or a shirt? It's a jumpsuit. It's a romper. It's nice. Isn't it cute? Kind of gone overboard. This I year, like but it. She likes them. <laughs> hey, and they're easy and comfortable. Yes, and you Oops. know, uh, you feel like you're. It's not. It's free. Yeah, free. Yeah, free. <laughs> yeah, free. <laughs> well, no, I have a. I have one that's shorts, and I was like, I need to find more of these because uh, they're just. They're they breathe and for the summer. I have a site for you because they're reasonably priced and they have lots of short ones. Do they? I yes. like. I like the shorts. I don't. So I'll share that with you. Yes, please later. do. Ooh, I have to hang this up in here. Is it a thank you note? Mm-hmm. Oh, cute. I smell the Sharpie. Mm. We got cookies. I know. <laughs> 
I see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we ready? Yep. Yeah, so let's talk about extended hours first. That's okay. Event. Okay. Extended, extended hours. hours first. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. I'm Teresa. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook live feed. We want to thank the Super Aqua Squad ladies for stopping by today yes. for the cookies. They brought us a media kit and a thank you note. That's oh, right. very, very sweet. Yes, definitely. And their idea is awesome. I love it. So, And I'm... You know what? I that patent needs to hurry and come through because we don't want nobody stealing their idea. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> All right. Next up with us, we have Adriana Del Rio from Sunset Community Health Center. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you for having me. Good morning to everyone. Um, you know, it's always a pleasure to come and chat with you, ladies. Well, well welcome back. I uh, we missed you last time. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was pretty busy, but I had some of my uh, girls, you know, join you guys. They they did really good. They held down the fort for you, so you're <laughs> doing, they're do, they did really well. Awesome. Now um, you're here with Sunset Community Health Center, and you're here to talk about some extended hours. Awesome. Yes. So, you know, we try in and touch, you know, basis on the different services that we have to offer, you know, every time we stop by here with you guys. And now we're going to be talking about our extended and evening uh, hours that we just recently have. Um, we've extended our hours to evenings and some weekends at some of the locations. Um, so that's very um, nice, you know, for our patients. The reason why we did it, we did this is because we want to fit uh, the family's needs, you know, we understand that sometimes we don't want to take kids out of school during, you know, you know, because of testings or whatever. Um, but a lot of people work and, you know, it's not very easy to get off of work, you know, to go to a medical appointment. So that's uh, the main reason that we did this. Um, right now, we only have extended hours or two of our locations. Uh, one of our locations is the one here in Newmont Avenue B, past mm -hmm. 8th Street. Um, and those hours are Monday through Thursday, 7 in the morning to 7 at night. And then Friday, um, you know, 7 in the morning to 5 p.m. Okay. So that's for our Avenue B um, location, which is located at 675 South Avenue B. Are you still under construction over there? We are. We're still under construction. Hopefully, you know, sometime this year. <laughs> no, well, no, yeah. and, and it's for the better. It's yeah. for the better. You guys are expanding in. Um, into yeah. So we're, we're gonna room. right. We're gonna be bringing down, uh, you know, a pharmacy. We're gonna be bringing down dental, and then we're gonna be expanding some of our medical services that we that's have at fantastic. that location. So that's gonna be awesome because, you know, again, we wanna have all of our services that we offer at one location and right now we are limited because we just started so small so we're slowly gonna you know start uh, offering that and you know again with our evening hours that's gonna hopefully be more beneficial for our families and and you have a location in Somerton too yes we have a location in Somerton and we've had extended hours a little bit longer than here in Yuma and for now and that's from Monday through Friday 7 30 in the morning to 8 at night okay. and and then every other Saturday. Okay. So the reason why we've only uh, extended our hours at these two locations is because we want to see, you know, how families are responding to it. We don't want to just, you know, open, have our clinics open and then not have any patients or yeah. have appointments available, you know. So um, we are finding that the public is responding really well. Our appointments have been filling in. So hopefully, you know, that will be, um, you know, to our benefit where we can open other you know, uh, uh, other clinics, you mm -hmm. know, and we can extend those hours. Well, accessibility is so very important, especially when it comes to health care. And a lot of people might use that as a, possibly a viable excuse if they couldn't find, find convenient time to go. But, you know, this kind of takes away one of the elements there if you need to see a physician by exactly. all means. You know, they've expanded the hours to make it more convenient. Right. And then again, um, you know, uh, we see that a lot of the medical facilities, you know, have business hours, which is yeah. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So then what happens when you're not feeling well, when you're, you know, something's wrong? What do we do? We usually tend to go to emergency room and urgent care, and that can be like a long wait. Yeah. You know? So because, you know, we're not as big, obviously, as a hospital, you know, you will be, you know, seeing a provider sooner than, you know, that. All right, well, that's fantastic. Now, we also want to talk about the Young at Heart Health and Information event coming up. 
Yes, we're very excited. This is our first time that we're going to have be having this event, which is Young at Heart Health and Information Event. It's an event that's, uh, you know, specifically designated for our seniors. Okay. Um, but of course, everybody is welcome to come and join us to that event. Um, we're going to be having, we, we want to make sure that we, um, you know, have this event again for our seniors because they've taken usually care of the family. They've raised us, you know, we don't want to forget about them. Exactly. Right. And, uh, and usually when, when they're done taking care of people, that usually means they're done taking care of themselves too. Right. So they need somebody yes. to help them with that. Yes. So we are going to be having this event to celebrate them. It's coming, it's going to be on June 6th. It's going to be in San Luis Arizona, but we are working with local senior centers here in Yuma and in okay. Summerton so that we can, you know, collaborate and have, you know, usually senior centers and uh, centers that offer services for seniors have some type of mobiles that they transport people. So we're trying to work with them so that way they can, you know, bring some other people over to the event. One of the really cool things that we're going to be having at this event is we're going to be offering, um, we're going to be raffling out some basic home improvements which is, you know, fixing their no doorknobs, um, installing ceiling fans, checking their smoke detectors, because w those are really simple things that can make such a difference. You know, changing faucets in the shower, sometimes yeah. it's really hard for them to open, you know, once they're old, they you know, to, to like open the, the shower. Um, so we're gonna be working with local contractors that we already have, you know, we already have everything in place. They're gonna be donating, donating that. Oh, okay. You know, so it's going to be really nice. Uh, for, that's one of the big things that we have. We have um, home improvement gift cards that we're going to be going, giving away. And we're going to also be raffling uh, maintenance service for the AC. Oh, wow. You know, so it's going to be really neat. Hopefully, we get a lot of people that can come and join us. Again, it's going to be June 6th at the Cesar uh, Chavez Cultural Center in San Luis, Arizona. And it's going to be from 9 to 12, um, you know, p.m., and people can come to our website and look for more information, which is sunsetcommunityhealthcenter.org. And and just like all of your other events, you're going to have the glute close testing, cholesterol, BMI, hearing, blood pressure, all of those, and the Medicaid and Medicare enrollment services, physical therapy, massages. You're going to have so much there to yes. offer to them. Zumba, yoga, Tai Chi, all of that. Yeah. And I love that you're getting them moving because that's right. definitely yes. important. <laughs> and, we're, and right now you mentioned physical therapy. Mm -hmm. a massage so we're working with the you know chiropractor that's going to be offering um you know basic massages and exercises because if they have something that they can do they can just receive some simple stuff that they can do at home exactly and mm -hmm. you will also have someone on site that will find out if they're eligible for an APS discount but yes they, they need to bring their food assistance acceptance letter right and if not we are going to be working with them and right now we're trying to work with you know some other agencies to see if we can have somebody on site that can look up on the system and actually print that because we understand oh. that sometimes you know they're mm, probably not going to bring it or forget but if um, someone has their food stamps assess acceptance letter <laughs> Please bring it into the event, and then uh, you know we can see if you are eligible for a discount for APS. You know, during the summer, usually our bills are really high because yeah. of the heat and AC and everything that we have on. So you know, please come and join and take advantage of these services that we will be having at this event. We just want to encourage people to bring their parents or their grandparents out because that's who who they're targeting for this event. And again, screening services and activities. All right, this takes place June 6th at the Cesar Chavez Cultural Center at 1015 North Main Street in San Luis. They can find information about this. Adriana, on the Sunset Community Health website, go ahead and give that address one more time. That's going to be um, sunsetcommunityhealthcenter.org, and we also have our social media accounts. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, so please, you know, come and join us to our event and also take advantage of our extended hours yes yes absolutely i th i think that's great i'm mm -hmm. curious to see how the pilot program ends up turning yeah. out for everyone yeah all right our guest today adriana del rio with sunset community health center we'll take our lotus day spot and salon selfie with her when we're done but yes. we, ha we have a, a couple national days today yes we do Some pretty interesting ones on the list too. i yeah. haven't even looked at them yet we have I'm ready for a surprise national sleepover day but Ooh. it's a school night well we can extend that. Where are we going to have our slumber party? 
I'm down. Okay. We can come to my house. Hey. <laughs> Anita has, has a pool. Janice <laughs> <laughs> does too. But, oh, that's but, right. But which house? Hey. Okay. <laughs> National Butterscotch Brownie Day. Ooh. That's my brother in law's favorite. That Ooh. sounds good. I don't think Steve? I've ever had Steve one. Steve loves favorite. butterscotch mm, I don't brownies. Think I've never had one. We'll have it, to make some this weekend. It, it, it is also National Lost Sock Memorial Day. <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty oh of those. God, I have a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dog who's addicted to chewing socks. So he's always, when I go to my, my washer, my dryer, he's waiting for me to drop, <laughs> drop one. one. And he'll get in and he'll run out. And I'm like, oh. oh no. <laughs> I used to have a coworker and she had a cat. Her boyfriend and the cat did not like each other. And this boyfriend, he had pretty, um, pretty expensive taste and he'd buy $30 socks. Oh my gosh. And the cat would always chew one sock <laughs> out of each pair okay. just to be a jerk. But I loved it because I didn't like the guy either. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. Like, Cats know things that we don't. It's been over 20 years, but if he's listening, he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Are they still together? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's been over about 19 and 7 months. <laughs> it is also National Moscato Day. Ooh. <laughs> That's Moscato. my Uncle Peter's kind of day. Yes. <laughs> National School Nurse Day. We want it. It's National Nurses Week, too, so we want to uh, reach out and recognize all of our nursing individuals. Yes. National Rece Receptionist Day. And I think we had administrative professionals last week. Mm -hmm. The last week, or yeah. the last week, last week. No, it was Anita's birthday week. Oh, then the it was because we went we went to lunch for her birthday on that actual uh, day. Oh, that's right. Yes, we did. Well, it's also National Third Shift Workers Day. Big shout out to all of you who keep things going while we're sleeping. I was gonna say, are they um, even awake, awake right, right now? now? <laughs> well, well they, they might be. My husband worked third shift for a while too, and uh -huh. you're just on a different clock. And I said, well, don't you want to come home and sleep? He goes, you don't go to sleep when you get home from work. That's true. So That's he, you, know, true. you have to unwind and stuff. So if you're all um, having dinner right now, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of third shift workers in the health industry, yeah. our military, our law enforcement, and they have to keep things safe and keep things running. That's right. And it's also National Bike to School Day. Well, I, I like that. I, I, it's also National Bike Month, you know, so get out there. I know it's getting warm, but if you take advantage of it early mornings. Okay. Yeah, um, it was beautiful this morning. Or it, it even uh, late right, evening. Yeah, late evening, just before the sun goes down. We have some awesome bike paths here that you could take advantage of. And you know what? Why not start teaching them young? I love this bike to school because you know what? They need to know the laws of the road just like we do when we drive a vehicle. So definitely take advantage of that if you can. It's also a way to expose your child to independence. Yeah. Too. But but again, education is key to that. I think mm -hmm. I would still follow him. Uh, <laughs> at least at first anyway. Yeah, just, just I would still sure. follow him for a while. <laughs> well, I know I saw three different gentlemen running early this morning. It was before 6 o'clock because mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Well, we're still in those triple digits. Once the sun goes down, you do start to see a, um, a pretty distinct change in the temperature. Mm -hmm. Whereas in July and August, it's still 100 at midnight. Yeah. So right now, we're, we're starting to cool down. And, and we're going to go into the 90s next yes, week? Yes, we have 90s in store for maybe Friday, 98. And we are going to be in the upper 90s this weekend. But it's still double digits again. Yeah. We're happy to see it. Exactly. Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the show the rest of this week, we have some great information. I know on Friday we have Hillary from the Humane Society of Yuma. Yes. We also, now we're, we're going with our Cat Shirt Friday theme. Hillary's coming in, but we're also going to have a special guest bringing a cat or two. Ooh. Really? I am not saying anything else. How, no. I, I'm surprised I didn't know. Well, it, it, and it's not Hillary, it's someone else. She wants to come hang out and bring cats. Hey, I'm down. I know. We are too. <laughs> Janice is allergic, though, so we'll have to coordinate Foodylicious away from cats. Okay. We, I, I'm sure we can figure it out. And it, yeah, it's just we, we have a lot of things taking place this week. But if you have an event, you're with a school group or an yeah. organization, a church event, you have a nonprofit, something coming up, you know, we'd love to hear about it and share the information with our audience, both listeners and Facebook Live viewers. Mm -hmm. And you can go to our website. Just go to monstermediayuma.com. Click on the Today in Yuma tab, That's right. and at the top, there is a brief little entry form. Just fill that out, and you can't attach anything to it, but you can email Teresa and I, and then we'll respond. And if you have a flyer or, or a script, exactly. something, you can always attach it to that. 
And while you're there, don't forget we you have until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning to enter your Moms the Bomb contest. We will still have two more winners. We'll have a winner tomorrow. We'll have a winner on Friday. So get your entries in now. Let us know why your mom is the bomb. If you've already sent one in, you don't have to resend that same letter. We have it here. Um, but if you want to enter some other mothers in your life, you can go ahead and do that. So right there. That's right. Mothers, aunts, grandma, sister, best friend, mother-in-law. We We've got uh, quite a few of those, too. Just get them in by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's right. All right. D-backs coming up tonight at 710 on Outlaw Country. It's the last of that two-game series with hey, the Dodgers. I, I was uh, I didn't stay awake. 12 innings. Go D-backs. Go D-backs. <laughs> we, we did it, and I was excited. Um, I hope it's not a 12-inning game today. <laughs> no, it's not. That would make for a very long night for all the people involved. Exactly. All right. Coming up next on Z93, it's the Bob and Sherry Show, and on Outlaw Country, we'll have news at the top of the hour and then your favorite classic country music it's today in yuma on z93 outlaw country monster media yuma.com and the fts automotive facebook live feed kcyk yuma and kljz yuma all right we'll see you guys tomorrow thank you everyone let me flip my switch and then we'll take our time oh, okay. i love her bomber isn't it cute yes. uh,